Live from Coleman, Alabama, Premier Bank presents Wake Up Coleman. Bonner. And again, welcome to Wake Up Coleman. So, again, as always, every day in Coleman something different is happening. And the big thing that we're going to mention today is the fact that there has been some very courageous people standing guard in front of the Army and Marine Recruitment Center here in Coleman. And I believe the Navy, too, the Navy Recruitment yeah, that's Office. Right. Um, um, yeah, you know, in light of the, the unfortunate things that happened in Chattanooga last week, um, these, these uh, veterans and, and former um, military people are, have decided to take it upon themselves to stand guard at these different locations to ensure that nothing happens. In the Chattanooga area, uh, a few days ago, a group of uh, retired veterans and uh, armed citizens decided to start taking turns patrolling these recruitment centers because military personnel, uh, because of the, the uh, non-carry act, were not allowed to carry weapons inside their offices to right. protect themselves. Mm -hmm. So these citizens and retired veterans have decided to take it upon themselves to protect these areas. Coleman is now among them. A retired Marine, a retired Army member, and a Sons of Liberty member are now standing guard in front of these bases in Coleman and are patrolling at various shifts uh, to make sure that nothing in the off chance happens. Now, I'm not going to be the person that says nothing like that will ever happen in Coleman, but in my opinion, the chances are much slimmer. I, um, I agree. I think it's a little less likely, but you know what? I'm sure the people in Chattanooga felt that same way. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely don't think that you can be safe enough. I think it's great that we have such caring people in the community that um, feel the desire to do those um, selfless acts where they stand guard. And I think it just says a lot about our community. And um, it also, I believe it stated in the paper, um, one of the people standing guard, he said, you know, the government is only doing so much to protect our armed forces and they do so much for us and we have so much respect for them that, um, that you know, we, it, we feel it's our duty to protect them, right. which I just think is awesome. I mean, that's, it's a huge honor to be, I mean, it, for instance, no one has done anything to stop them yet and it's because they are with, well within their legal right and that's fantastic because it's safe, it's efficient, and it's legal. So there's mm -hmm. no questions, there's no problems. We are safely protecting our military and it's all volunteer. Yeah, and in other news as well, locally we have um, another couple that has been uh, arrested on child abuse charges. Oh, no. So uh, we have a four-year-old that has uh, been child abused and uh, his parents are in um, in the Coleman County Detention Center mm -hmm. and they are, I'm not sure if they're, I don't think they have bail options so. And from um, what I tell, they, they were discovered through the child's doctor discovering various bruises Yes, and, the relative and took the child that was four to the hospital for, to be looked at. He did have a few in different injuries so um, you know our thoughts and prayers are with that child and uh, I don't know I just feel like we keep hearing of an ongoing well it's 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 a double-edged sword here because yes the fact that we're hearing about this more often is terrible because I mean that that at this day and age that should be something that we don't even deal with anymore we should understand that that's not how you behave or treat a child but at the same time because we're hearing it more that can only make me wonder if that means that we're catching it more you know, yeah, from when we spoke to um, Sheriff Gentry, it yes. seems like that's, that seems to be the case. So, um, you know, I'd, I'd rather read about it all day than to know that there's something going some on. some uncalled and, case out there. Yeah. So, so uh, we are very glad that the, the relative was able to bring that child in, mm -hmm. seek some medical attention, and then eventually have this stopped, which is ultimately what has happened. So we're very happy to hear about that. So, you know, I'll, you know, again, thoughts and prayers out to that yes. family. And, and, and one day we're going to talk about how, like, awesome, random, crazy, great acts of happiness are exactly. happening in Coleman. <laughs> one, of, one day we'll start off with, and, well, there was a double rainbow. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, so do you even know who we're having on the show today? Uh, yes, we have outfitters on the show today. But first, let me go ahead and tell you, if you haven't checked Facebook yet this morning, Please do. Go and check who the sponsor of the day is because you have this awesome chance to win some cool prizes. We're working with some very interesting sponsors now, and they're giving us lots of cool stuff. And speaking of cool prizes and stuff, let's check out what those are. First off, you could win a free sausage biscuit from Bojangles here in Coleman. You can win a family barbecue pack from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. 
So definitely, definitely, definitely find out who the sponsor of the day is and give us a call. That's 256-734-7399. Absolutely give us a call. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss these prizes. I know. They are definitely great prizes. And now we're going to take a look at our Facebook friend of the day. Our Facebook friend of the day is Nathan Chambers, and he likes Casting Crowns and Courageous the Movie. Both awesome And for things. being our friend today, we would like to give Nathan Chambers a free large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Hey. I know we, we that that is a kind of often gift we give, but guys, if you haven't had that yet, you're missing out. That stuff's yeah, good. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we, um, we love Mad Dog Mike's. He's great. Definitely. So, okay, so as you were stating earlier, we yeah. do have an awesome guest today. Uh, it's Mr. Aaron, and he is from Outfitters. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is not a sporting goods store. But we don't want to get into that too much yet. So definitely join us in just a moment when we have him on the show, and we'll be right back. To buy or refinance your existing mortgage. Let's work together in these difficult times to make it better. The Mortgage Center. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on, and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. We are with Mr. Uh, Aaron Cook, who is the general manager of Outfitters. So. Mr. Cook, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? How long have you been in the Coleman area? Well, I've been in the Coleman area last 10 years. I'm originally from outside Chicago. Oh, wow. And, hey, I'm uh, from Chicago. All right. Well, I'm from Rockford, Illinois. Okay. I'm and, from uh, uh, Naperville. All right. I know where you're at. I married a, a, a girl from here and oh, uh, <laughs> moved south. And uh, I'm the smart Yankee, so I tell everybody. And That's awesome. uh, moved, moved south and um, work at a nonprofit organization. And uh, we do a, um, a Christian youth camp during the summer. Oh, wow. And I've uh, worked there for 10 years. And uh, in doing that, we've now started this business up um, because finances and things. So oh, okay. we started our business to help fund the nonprofit. And so, what's the nonprofit called? It's called Living Waters Youth Camp. It's outside of Hayden. Uh, it's been there 29 years. Hmm, and nice. uh, my father-in-law started it. And uh, so, so that's the reason we're all in the area. We, I live in Hayden, and I've uh, only been in Coleman for a little over... I guess you could say for three months now. Well, we're glad to have you. You know, we always like to see new faces in the community. I myself am one of them, so don't feel too <laughs> bad. Uh, so you've, you've been in the area kind of not the longest time. Did you know anyone before you came here besides yeah, you? Yeah, I know several people live in the area. Um, of course, I'm a, I'm a preacher oh, uh, wow. on top of doing this. So I've I preached to several churches in the area and know a lot of people live in the community. So, so very um, familiar Coleman. Where, uh, what church? Do you attend? Well, I attend right now. Uh, I'm in between churches. I was pastoring a church and just uh, got out of it. But I, I'm very familiar with Victory Baptist Church right over here on Highway oh. 278. Okay. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Well, um, so obviously, can you tell us the, the inspiration behind um, Outfitters, uh, the name, like we've kind of briefly touched on? It. Well, the, the name Outfitters, to be honest with you, I, my father-in-law is the owner of it. And uh, my, my brother-in-law has a, some stores. It's called RTR Outfitters. And uh, so he wanted to, we, we work close together, so he just dropped the RTR and made it Outfitters uh, so that we do tie in together with one another. Yes, sir. And, uh, and it kind of gets connotation we're a sporting goods store, uh, which we're not. Uh, we're an Alabama <laughs> Auburn apparel store and okay. a local high school team. So. Yes, sir. So, you, so in terms you are a, a, a small SEC collegiate Basically, that's what yes, we, yes, that's what we, yes, sir. That's what we do. We're licensed screen printers through the University of Alabama, so oh. we can 
print their stuff. We uh, set up at the stadium every game. Oh, and cool. Do, oh, that's do awesome. sales. Yeah, it's really cool. We so like you have it. a representative that goes on behalf of you guys? Usually you it's all us. Oh, okay. Yeah, usually yeah. it's us. We're real small. It's all family oriented. All family works there. That's cool. And, uh, so. But, you know, um, if you are in the area and you want a, um, a Vinemont hat or, you know, some type of jersey from Coleman High School, get the Bearcats on you, guys, you guys can just go check out Outfitters and get one of those. Yeah, we have hats and T-shirts of all the schools, local schools in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working on getting Holly Pond and Cold Springs in, but we're really excited about being in the community. Now, you stated that your business was sort of set up because of the success of the youth Right. Well, how does that tie into? Well, what it is is uh, being a nonprofit, and the finances when when the recession hit, when everything hit, it really took toll on our. Uh, so we all don't take salaries from the nonprofit whatsoever. Right. And in order to do that, in order to stay there and keep that up, we started the businesses so that we could have, make a living and also help pay the bills at the nonprofit. So. So what made you decide to do a collegiate? Well, being my, my brother-in-law actually got into it, and uh, being licensed screen printers. Uh, through university, we had kind of a, an end to it, and it uh, right. just seemed like that was the best way to go. And to be honest with you, God let us ride into it. And um, we started it three years ago in Warrior, Alabama. Oh, wow. And that's where the home base is, and now we're moving into Coleman. So, so are, you, are you completely moving, or are you just opening nope, a different store? No, we're opening store? up a second store. Oh, wow. That's, oh, that's exciting. Great. This is our second store. Wow. So. That is really great. So how is the store doing over in that location? Uh, the one in Warrior is doing mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay. And um, the one in Coleman, we just, we've only been open a week today. And uh, mm -hmm. we opened the doors, but it's doing good. A lot, a lot of community support. A lot of people come in and check us out. So um, I'm appreciative of that, and uh, we're excited about it. Yeah, so um, you told us you're married and you have, is it four kids? I got four kids. Four yeah, I'm married. Kids. I got a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, a two-year-old, and a five-month-old. Wow. I am busy. You have all boys, all girls, or two both, boys, or? two girls. Oh, you got so, good I got amount of both. Yeah, Somebody, someone to watch over someone else at all times. Exactly. So. <laughs> wow. Well, um, what did they think of the store? Oh, they they love it. My my oldest, my nine year old, as a matter of fact, spent all day yesterday with me, and uh, which is eleven hours in the store. He oh, just wow. that's all he's ever known. Um, yeah. He's the best salesman you'll ever have, <laughs> and uh, he's just a charmer. And they oh. love it. They love being part of it. That is awesome. It's always nice having the, the family-based businesses for that sense because, you know, if, even if it's not what they want to do when they get older, they get tons of experience, get to meet all sorts of cool people. Oh, so yeah. So it's, it's always nice to, to sort of see that direction happen. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Well, uh, okay, so you've got you've got your kids involved. Is your wife involved at all? Oh, yeah, my wife is very much, she, she matter of fact, she works the other store as much as possible when my father and I out there. So we all work together hand in hand, <laughs> and uh, uh, she's very much involved in it. If you come in our store in Coleman, you'll see me, my sister, and my wife most of the time. That'll be working it. So, What's a good little crew? Well, definitely hold that thought because we want to come back and talk to you a little bit more about the store. Right. If you'll join us again, uh, give us just a moment. We'll be right back. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat.
Alright everybody and welcome back. We are here with Aaron Cook and he is the general manager of Outfitters located here in Coleman. And don't be confused, that does not mean a sporting goods. They will not sell you a baseball glove. They <laughs> no, will not no. I mean they might have a football maybe with something. Well like we that. may have some football. Yeah, but they're 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 not anything like that. Don't yeah. don't get your hopes up. <laughs> if you're local um, Auburn, Alabama and local high school area um, sports team store. So um, going into that a little bit more, what exactly do y'all have to offer um, goods wise? Well, when you come in our store, you're going to see a huge variety of t-shirts, uh, polos, dress shirts, ties, belts. I mean, we've got it. We got it. if you if we they have it on the market, we have it. And uh, apparel wise, knickknacks, pictures. We got a bunch of framed pictures. University of Alabama and Auburn. Oh, man, they're thirty dollars and uh, nice, nice. What would you say are some of your more popular items? Uh, the more popular items, uh, I don't know about the Coleman store yet. I can speak for the other store, and it's the, our pictures, our pictures. framed pictures. Really? And uh, I mean, when you can get a, a nice framed picture for thirty dollars, take it home, hang it up in your man cave, something like that. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. Well, speaking of man caves, um, I know whenever I went off to college, uh, you know, I wanted to have certain things in my dorm room, and I'm sure that all of these. Um, you know, freshly graduated seniors and Absolutely. soon to be. You'll probably be cleaned out in about a matter of four hours and then it'll just take <laughs> yeah. off the Be nice. Moment. I wouldn't mind it. It'd yeah. be all right. You should definitely go in and check out some of your oh, stuff yeah, to sure. add to their dorm room. Now, or? in terms of items, do you have any, like, originals for your store specifically, or is this items that are just harder to get from other uh, places? No, we actually have, uh, due to the fact that we are licensed screen printers, uh, a lot of our Alabama designs are exclusively ours. Oh, wow. Uh, really? that we had to get approved that only we can have and if anybody else has them because we've wholesaled them out to them oh. so uh, so a lot of the items you'll find there now we do order from other companies and different mm -hmm. things uh, but a lot of the items are ours so it's again like apparel and sports memorabilia yeah and apparel kind of and uh, you know we deal with uh, like we have blankets and uh, stadium seats and ties all that stadium stuff. seats are the big one right now because oh, yeah. with you know all of the uh, the high school teams about to start kicking back off those are the most right. uncomfortable seating well we've got have. stadium seats you got your fold out seats, you got tents. We sell uh, pop up tents, oh, wow. Alabama and all of our pop up tents yeah. things. So, now we have to ask you this question. Okay. Do you know where I'm going with this? Uh, probably. I think Are so. Are you an Alabama fan uh, or an Auburn fan? You will get me in trouble. I am, I am an Alabama fan. <laughs> all right, so, well, there we go. Yeah, you, I was you made can, to you be. You can continue. I was made to be when I got married. So. <laughs> you, were, you were indoctrinated. I was indoctrinated. You were, you were consumed by the Alabama title. Are you so. in Alabama? Or in Alabama? I can't answer that because I still can't be mugged when I walk down the streets. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have to choose one of the two. Some, no, someday, no. I'm, I, normally it's just whatever I'm more in fear of. If there's a group of Auburn <laughs> fans staring at me, I'm probably going to say. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. You're motivated by fear. <laughs> I, I'm always motivated by fear. <laughs> Uh, so, with with your store coming out, you did state that this was your first week of business here in uh, yes. Coleman. So, you have your grand opening happening soon. Right, correct. Uh, grand opening is going to be August 7th and 8th. Uh, the, the ribbon cutting will actually be on the 7th at 11 o'clock. And uh, that weekend, we're going to do all kinds of sales. My bank's coming out and giving away free oh, wow. food and wow. drinks and things to kind of okay. help us celebrate it. So, we're real excited. Great deals going on. New product coming in daily. Um, Kind of a little pun, but we hang our hats on hats, and uh, <laughs> I have I have over sixty styles in there right now, and I got another oh, wow. forty coming in. Wow! Uh, so when you walk in my store, my I mean, best selection of hat around. It's so over a hundred different kinds. Oh yeah, yeah, it's crazy in there. So, uh, so we're excited. We are super excited. I keep saying that, but we are. We're excited about being in Coleman. Well, so, we're happy to have y'all here. Jeez. Uh, so hours wise, what are what are we are we looking at? More of a like afternoon Ford type store? Yeah. To, no, we uh, we're closed on Sunday, right. and then a Monday and Tuesday it's ten to seven. Okay. Uh, Wednesday we're ten to five, and then the rest of the week it's ten to nine. Oh wow! Oh, that's so, so we're open several hours. hours yeah. anybody so, so people like us can actually come in and shop. Ex with you. Exactly. You know, people. <laughs> yeah. There's late nights. There's people like stay up late at night. Things like that. We're open for all hours. Yeah, that's and a great. lot of people. You know, they may not get off work until five or even later than that. So right. those ha those extended hours are just awesome. Gives them the opportunity, and then like of course during the game, uh, during the games, we may open earlier on Saturday uh -huh. for people to maybe want to buy some gear or something. No. So. Do you guys host events, at, will, or will you be hosting events? We will be store? hosting some events. Uh, we have some ends with. Uh, Former players, we do a lot of signings. Oh, wow. And uh, matter of fact, I don't, I, I'm, don't hold me to it. Uh, we're trying for our grand opening to have Terrence Cody, Mountain Cody, come sign for oh, us. Wow, and we've done several cool. signings with him. 
and we're trying, we're in negotiations with him right now to try to get him to come. Awesome. Now, where so is Outfitters located? It's located uh, in the Save a Lot Shopping Center over okay. by Ninja Japanese Steakhouse. Oh, okay. Um, we're right smack beside Japanese Steakhouse Ninja. Uh, 1708 2nd Avenue Southwest. That's where we're located. Okay, okay, cool. And what's a good contact number for Good Lynn? contact number, of course, 256-735-4333. That's the store And you number. are on Facebook, correct? Uh, we are on Facebook. It's called Outfitters Coleman. Outfitters awesome. Coleman. Well, well, that's great. Uh, we are definitely glad that you're in town. Uh, I will probably be spending all of my paychecks there. Uh, <laughs> whether it be for me or for someone else, I oh, know. Yeah, I just know that those are always popular stores. And we are glad to have you. I know that we had one here a long time ago, and I have no idea why it disappeared, but... You know, we're glad that you're here now. So. Thank you. We're so. glad to be here. We'll definitely uh, continue to update us. We're going to keep up with you. And, uh, again, uh, thank you, and uh, we'll be right back. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to MyColemanTV.com. There, you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's shows. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There, you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the links to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. question to ask just so you know you might be aware where is mad dog mike's located if you don't know check our facebook then give us a call because you got to win those prizes we can't give them to you if you don't call yes give us a call and um give us the answer i know you know where it is <laughs> So don't hesitate to call right now. Um, our phone number again is 256-734-7399. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Give us a call. We're waiting. Well, in other news, uh, we've got some very interesting things to talk about today because one of these could be kind of life-changing to some people. This uh, is true, yeah. We've got a new test that has been discovered uh, that could detect all, and I'm saying this, I'm butchering this word, Alzheimer's? Yeah, it's you know, I've heard a German it said word that I can't pronounce. Several different ways. But I just usually say Alzheimer's. So. <laughs> or as my grandparents called Alzheimer's. Yeah, you whatever, know, I used whatever to, Alzheimer's is. Yeah, I used to think growing up, um, my my mom or dad would say about some relative that they had Alzheimer's, like they're old timers or something like. And I just I don't know. I was confused by that for a long time <laughs> until I realized no, they're not saying that. right. Well, it, however it's pronounced, it is a very serious uh, disease. Yes. Uh, it does affect the brain, uh, and this recent uh, and new discovery it will actually uh, detect the disease early. And believe it or not, it's in the most unorthodox way I can think of finding it. Uh, they discover it through your saliva. They believe that an unhealthy brain affected by the disease actually affects 
the makeup of your saliva and that they can detect early stages of the disease by the type of saliva you have. So a quick swab uh, will determine whether or not you were approaching early stages of this, you which know, is terrifying. Well, yeah, that is terrifying. You know, <laughs> I, it, it just, uh, I know that the, the swab test uh, reveals so much, but I never, never thought it could reveal something so... Well, they're not 100% on it yet because it is just now being shown to the Alzheimer's uh, board uh, just to make sure that the, it gets FDA approved because there's nothing really drug-wise they're doing here, but they have to make sure that their facts are correct before they go sending it out. Um, it is still young again. The study needs to be replicated on a larger population. So this will, these are all important uh, factors that could play in, but with something like this, I mean, that, that disease normally doesn't rear its head until much later in life. So if they can right. catch it early, they can take preventable steps towards you know, right. keeping the disease from spreading. And this is definitely a minimally invasive, cost-effective way to see if you are um, someone that would potentially be a candidate for that unfortunate disease. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah, I hope we hear more about this and um, it becomes something, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what all preventive preventative measures people can do. Well, if, but, even if it's just, you know, staying, you know, doing a Sudoku puzzle or something, yeah, yeah <laughs> just yeah, keeping just, mentally sharp. Yeah, definitely. But I, I think it's uh, it's great, and we're making so many advancements right. in science. So. You know, and it, every day something new comes out. Mm -hmm. I mean, eventually, who knows, cancer might not be a thing, you know, dementia, well, that kind waiting. of thing. we're waiting. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> um, well, in other news, too, uh, Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies um, are in search of an armed and dangerous pension man. So um, his name is uh, David, David Lee, Lee Gal 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 Galbraith. Yes, Gal. Gal Gal. Yeah, something. Galbraith. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is armed and dangerous and is potentially mentally unstable. Uh, he, deputies were called to the home of the victim's mother on Sunday to investigate a report of the violation of a protective order against the victim, his estranged wife. So this man is, wow. Okay, this deputy determined he tried to burn down his mother-in-law's home sat, uh, Sunday night by throwing a bottle filled with flammable lim liquid. I believe they call that a Molotov cocktail. And don't ask me why I know that. Uh, television. But <laughs> So this guy you. threw a cocktail at his mother-in-law's house yeah. and tried to burn it down. Yeah. When they state could potentially be mentally unstable, I think they mean it's absolutely mentally unstable. I, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, if you the desire to do that to your mother-in-law <laughs> okay let's be real what person has liked their mother-in-law from day one i am pretty sure there are a lot out there that do but <laughs> movies like monster in law would not have been made if uh if there were always just i just i think it's funny though like this guy has done what thousands of men out there have probably wanted to do in their <laughs> life or women who knows i mean that's always the relationship uh, they yeah. stereotype yeah i mean no i can definitely definitely see where that might come from so <laughs> well um, mr david is a uh, he is a caucasian male he's six foot tall around 220 pounds he has brown hair he has brown eyes and he was last seen driving a green 2001 ford escape uh xlt four-door uh, uh -huh. the authorities are asking anyone who sees this man to call 911 or the sheriff's office at 205-325-1450 definitely important so if you see this gentleman definitely give a call mm -hmm. uh because you know the last thing we want is for this gentleman to continue to be out on the streets and doing who knows what right and um that's scary we, we don't want him running around so and remember this is in jefferson county too definitely uh well in lighter news thank goodness uh 2015 national dance day is what uh, is july 25th yeah i think it's the sixth one yes, the sixth annual National Dance Day. Mm -hmm. uh, the National Dance Day celebrations take place in Los Angeles, New York, and Washington, D.C. Now, the Los Angeles Music Center uh, is actually having this uh, big festival, uh, and they say festival, it's interpretive dances, ballet, and a bunch of other different uh, organizations coming together to make uh, this giant uh I'm trying to think of a festival within the music compound. Right. Uh, and the people actually boast the first uh, African-American ballet theater principal. Uh, and that's something they're pushing because of her importance in that school yes. and then her mm -hmm. importance within this organization in this uh, National Dance Day. Mm -hmm. uh, Washington, D.C. is getting involved with their group. Uh, they have a whole bunch of people coming through. Uh, and again, with New York uh, doing things between Broadway 
in a ton of other different areas. In and there. I, I think so you think you can dance, Judge. Um, Adam Shankman, he'll mm. be a part of this too. So if you guys are fans of that show, I mean, hey. And I'm pretty sure YouTube will explode within the next few hours of people yes. just dancing like crazy. So you know what? But then the next week, just go crazy. Dance. Dance like no one's watching. And if they are watching, <laughs> dance like they're not watching anyone. Anyway. Or just be a bad dancer. Like oh, yeah. You. Hey, yeah. Definitely be a bad dancer. <laughs> life, is, life is all about bad dancing and not caring. I guess. I don't know. That's my philosophy, and oh, I did it for like three years. <laughs> uh, so, d you know, with, that's, with all this stuff going on, I'm glad that we have things like this still going on yeah. to, to kind of balance out all of the, the, the badder things that we've had happen recently. Uh, so, you know, just keep in mind, dance terribly, watch out for your saliva, <laughs> and um, definitely watch out for Mr. Yeah. David there. Well, now is my favorite part of the show, and it's the part where we get to look at the weather which is brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. All right, so we're looking at an average high today about 91 with a low of 71. Uh, the average high was set in 1952 at 103, and the low was set in 1944 at 49 degrees, the point in which I hibernate. Uh, sunset tonight is at 8.05 p.m., and sunrise tomorrow is looking at about 5.30 a.m., about the time that I would not want to wake up. Uh, actually, nothing scattered happening towards the Gulf too bad today. A little coming from the north, but I doubt that'll hit us too much. So maybe some scattered showers throughout the day. Thank goodness, too, because I'm so tired of rain. <laughs> uh, we are looking at mostly cloudy for the day with a high of 93 and a chance of precipitation of about 60%. So most likely we're going to have some, sh some scattered showers today, but nothing too heavy. Uh, kind of probably similar to Mar or yesterday. Tonight we're looking at mostly cloudy again, but 60% chance of rain. Low of 71, and tomorrow majorly rainy again at 60% with a high of 86, probably because of all that cloud coverage. Uh, high of 90 to 94 throughout the week. Again, uh, Saturday looking about the sunniest day we'll have all week. Uh, mostly lows throughout the 70s uh, at night throughout the next week. So, I mean, we're, we're not looking at anything too terrible, mostly rainy. Keep an umbrella, maybe wear a little longer of a shirt you know, keep dry, you know, we'll, we'll be okay. Just really glad that, you know, at least this time we know the rain's coming on like the 4th of July weekend. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, again, you know, as long as the weather's good and as long as we're breathing, I guess we have to enjoy it anyway. Obviously, <laughs> but I am happy I got my rain I wanted, so. Well, again, and I'm blaming you every day. Every day. <laughs> you can blame them away because I've been praying for it. It's been too hot. <laughs> uh, that's no excuse for this much rain. <laughs> Well, thank you, and uh, if you'll give us just a moment, we'll be right back. Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to mycolemantv.com. There, you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's shows. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There, you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the links to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months. And now, we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. It is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Sensory friendly movie showings 
are every Thursday at 10 a.m. at Carmike Coleman. $4 includes popcorn and a drink, and on July 30th, they are showing SpongeBob out of water. Hand embroidery class at the North Alabama Agriplex is July 23rd at 6 p.m. Participants will learn the basics of hand embroidery and create an embroidered tea towel to keep, led by sisters Ashley and Emily Price. Definitely call the number on the screen to get more information about that. Cantanti Della Donna Coleman Women's Choir invites all ladies 18 and over to a listening session Tuesday evening, August 4th at 6.30 p.m. at 7th Street Baptist Church. Meet and greet choir members listen to a fall program preview and bring a friend. For more information, call 256-736-2622. Vacation Bible School at the Daystar Church is July 19th through the 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Their theme this year is Night at the Movies, and you can register your kids at kidspowercompany.org slash kidfest. Definitely call Steve Patrick at 256-737-0800 to get more information on that. And July is Bring a Friend Month. Bring the most friends to your center to win a prize at the end of the month. It applies to each center, and it's brought to you by the Coleman County Commission on Aging. Fall Gardens and Cover Crops for the Home Gardener at the North Alabama Agriplex is being held at August 4th at 6 p.m. Definitely call for more information on that on the number on the screen. And a cookbook fundraiser, Women of Faith Group Garden City Church of God. They are selling these cookbooks for $12.50 each and proceeds benefit Church's Food Bank. Contact information is Rhonda Davis at 256-962-2208 or Patsy Kennedy at 256-527-3958. And if you have a community billboard or just want to contact us, you can get reach us at mycolemantv.com. You can email us at mycolemantv at gmail.com or phone us at 256-734-7399. And remember, we love to hear from you on Facebook, so definitely give us a like on My Coleman Television at Facebook.com. And again, we are sponsored by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. And wishing you a happy birthday today, Ron Sable, Kelly Tuckett, Justin Hitt, and Amber Walls. And our weekly winner, which will be drawn on Friday, they will receive an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And our weekly anniversary winner, should we have one, is going to be winning a $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden. So you guys get online and tell us when your birthday and your anniversaries are so y'all can win those. And again, our sponsor of the day is Mad Dog Mike's owner of the famous barbecue, $15.99 family barbecue pack, which comes with a pound of meat, two 16-ounce sides, and four buns. They are located <coughs> inside the Berlin Quick Stop. So definitely go and see Mad Dog Mike. You will not regret it. And remember, again, to go like us on Facebook. We love to hear from you, and we want to know what's going on in the community from you guys' end. Let us know. Talk to us, and we'll definitely get back to you. We want to help you so you can help us help you. That's all we ever want <laughs> is to, to know what you want so we can give it to you because that's all we're here for. Yeah, definitely. Y'all go online and share your thoughts with us. We want to hear from you for sure. Um, Absolutely. So tomorrow we have a very, very interesting guest, um, very talented. His name is Leldon Maxey, and he is a um, saw scroll artist. He For us laymen, that means he makes wood look really good. Yes. He, yeah, he, that's he actually a really... And then makes it into a thing that I have no talent in, so I'm actually interested to see what this gentleman has. Yeah, his, <laughs> uh, his stuff is really neat, and he's uh, very talented. So he'll he'll be coming over here tomorrow, and we'll be talking to him and looking at some of the different things that he has made. And um, you know what? I think that these will make a lot of great gifts for oh, people absolutely. too. So I just picture he's that guy with the chainsaw that you see at county fairs. It's like cutting a bear out of a giant log. But I really don't think that's him. But I mean, if it is, I'm not going to argue. A guy with the chainsaw. Where awesome. do you see this guy at the fair? Have you never seen that? No. Yeah, I have you not. need to go pay attention to more fairs. They have them at the Coleman County Fair. It's awesome. Are you kidding? I'm not joking. It's amazing. This. It's so cool. Okay, we're going to go to the fair and you're going to show me this person that I've missed for like, I don't know, 10 years. 10 years. 10 years of missing you. That's, that's a personal problem. You need to look at that. Well, you're going to fix it for me. This Definitely. Year. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us again today. And every uh, everyone here at My Coleman Television asks you, you have a great day. And again, I'm Jacob Murphy. And I'm Natalie Vaughner. Thank and you. Have a wonderful day.